How does WinUI enable UI and data virtualization? It takes a lot of time to load huge data sets, and it takes a lot of memory to create UI objects for all of that data. Apps usually solve this problem by using two strategies, data virtualization and UI virtualization. Simply put, data virtualization is only loading data at the moment that it's needed. UI virtualization is only creating UI objects as they are needed. So it can be difficult to implement these strategies in your own controls or in your own apps, but thankfully WinUI embeds these concepts into several of its collection controls, making it super easy to handle large data sets. Two examples of these controls are list view and grid view. So list view and grid view have layout built right into them. That means if you, you know, as soon as you hook up your list view to a data source, it's going to render your items in the default WinUI style and the default WinUI layout. So let's look at an example. Say you have a list view on your app that represents a list of contacts. And to populate this, you are pulling in a super long set of contacts from a database. Your app is not going to pull in each of these data objects all at once. Instead, it will use data virtualization to only pull in those contact data objects at the moment that they're needed. And as the end user is scrolling through the list view on your app's UI and more and more contacts are appearing, those are the UI objects being virtualized. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that if you choose to change that built-in layout of your list view or grid view, you will, you, you will lose that built-in virtualization as well. So if you'd like to see um, our collection controls and their scrolling performance in action, check out the WinUI 3 Controls Gallery app in the Microsoft Store.